Hello dear guests and subscribers of my channel, my name is Slamon and today we are starting a season of sneak peeks for Autumn Update and in this video I'm going to uh, show you and to test all new uh, level of troops and new, uh, all new levels of uh, defenses. All details in the video, let's go. Before we start checking uh, the news about the upcoming update, guys, uh, one small announcement. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel to help me uh, with this new channel as uh, it is now rather small and with your help we will grow. Thanks a lot. And uh, besides that, everybody knows that uh, after the update there are a lot of offers in the shop and uh, if you are going to buy any of them, please don't forget to uh, enter my support code. Now it's entered here. I will... Uh, stop uh, supporting and then enter it again. Uh, my support code is Salomon. You just enter this word and uh, hit the button set code. After that, you uh, see uh, the words that you are now supporting Salomon, and that means that if you make any purchase in the shop with this code, uh, you will support my channel. Thanks a lot in advance. So before I show you the new uh, levels of troops and buildings, uh, uh, a little information about uh, the changings in the balance. Uh, there will be some nerfs and the uh, first of them will be with Inferno Dragons. Now uh, the, Inferno Dra the maxed uh, Inferno Dragon Beam will, be, uh, will take a little longer. That means, uh, you know, when the Inferno Dragons start to attack uh, any building, uh, he has a beam that is uh, being maxed out through time. And now uh, this maxed out beam will appear uh, on 1.2 seconds later. That means uh, that the maxed out damage will uh, take longer. And uh, this means that there will be a nerf for Inferno Dragons. Uh, another troop that uh, also gets a, ner gets a nerf is uh, Dragon Rider. And now the attack radius uh, of the Dragon Rider after the update will be uh, uh, 0 0.5 uh, squares less sells less. That means that the Dragon Rider will have to move closer to the defense to start attacking and this will be also a nerf for the Dragon Rider. Uh, to sum it up, uh, it means that uh, the main army, uh, uh, the main ar air army troops, uh, Dragon Riders and also a uh, very popular a troop uh, Inferno Dragon are getting nerfed and that means that uh, probably it will be a time for um, ground armies and uh, with new troops uh, it will be for sure so let's jump to the testing server where I will show you uh, the all the new uh, defense buildings and all new troops and besides that I will also test them guys okay, so here is the test server where I will show you all new levels of uh, defenses and uh, all new levels of troops that will be available after the autumn update uh, that uh, is going to happen in the nearest future I don't know exactly when but uh, as we see the sneak peeks it means that um, the update is not far away so guys uh, first of all I will show you the new levels of uh, buildings and also will tell you the exact exact uh, cost and exact number of uh, days that you will have to spend for upgrading these new levels. After that we're going to speak about new levels of troops that will also appear and uh, then I will make one test attack uh, to show you how new uh, troops actually work and uh, also I will show you the uh, new, new view new skins maybe uh, of these new troops i mean uh, how they will look like when they will be upgraded so we are getting new level of expo and new level of mortar uh, i think it's uh, time to upgrade them because all other defenses have already got new appearance uh, that uh, is exactly the same as town hall and now we are getting a uh, new mortar and a new expo uh, here you see the Info about uh, Expo, so the damage will be uh, uh, 200 points per second, hit points is uh, 4500, uh, also air and uh, ground mode. And uh, what about cost? It's 18.5 million gold and 19 days to upgrade. 19 days, guys, it's almost three weeks. <laughs> three weeks, it's, it's insane. And you have four of them, and actually, it, they cost. 
pretty pretty well uh, and uh, now we are going to speak about mortar it also gets uh, next level uh, so you see the info about the damage and hit points uh, Actually, nobody cares about mortars, uh, it's usually just for distracting maybe some uh, defense uh, attacking units uh, or kill some barbarians and archers. Actually, nobody counts it as a defense, but uh, still, uh, still they are getting new level and uh, the cost will be 17.5 million gold uh, upgrade time 18 days. I think they will be upgraded after X-Bows for sure when everything rest will be upgraded besides you will get uh, 50 new pieces of walls that you will be able to upgrade also it's not uh, the whole amount of walls there will be still walls that uh, you cannot upgrade and i think we will get them in the uh, future updates now let's speak about the new troop levels that will also uh, appear in the in the next update and uh, these new troop levels uh, gon going to make uh, earth armies uh, strong again because uh, most of uh, players now play with air uh, with air troops like dragons dragon riders and so on and uh, mostly there is no ground armies and uh, this uh, this update will bring earth armies back again First of all, guys, let's uh, discuss uh, the, uh, the information, the damage, the characteristics of all new troop levels, the costs and uh, upgrading time, and then we will look how they will appear in the game after the upgrading. First uh, troop they, that will get a new level is Miner. Uh, you see uh, the damage per second will increase uh, on 8 8 points uh, hit points plus 10% uh, uh, training cost increase training time stays the same and the most important upgrade time see 17 days and 17.5 uh, million elixir 17 days is pretty much but I think uh, many people now have uh, for example uh, hammers for armies or maybe books for upgrading so it's time to spend them Besides that, we are getting a new level of Yetis. Now it will be a level 4, the maximum level. Uh, you see the damage per second increase, hit points, training cost, also spawned units. That means that there will be one more Yeti might uh, spawned after um, uh, Yeti death. And uh, upgrade time 18 days and 18 million elixir will cost the upgrade. Next troop is Hog Rider and we are getting the, uh, the 11th level of hog riders that means that hybrid will be strong again we will again see a lot of attack with attacks with hybrid uh, because for now the, uh, it's not as popular as it was uh, in the beginning and the upgrade uh, time is 17 days cost uh, 320,000 dark elixir I think it's, uh, it's the maximum amount that you can uh, store in your uh, dark elixir storage and you will have to empty it all to get maxed out uh, hog rider but uh, as always you can use hammer or you can use uh, book of training by the way I think there will be some uh, some good um, proposals in the shop and uh, so please don't forget to use uh, my creator code Solomon thanks a lot in advance still next troop that is uh, getting new level is golem uh, the increase of uh, damage increase of damage when destroyed also increase of hit points uh, upgrade time 17 days uh, 320 thousand elixir uh, to be upgraded and by the way i think uh, that um, golems won't be the first uh, unit that will be upgraded because uh, first of all the upgrade for many players the upgrade will uh, will be miners and hogs but golem is also pretty good for tanking especially you know, with the spam armies like uh, yeti with bowlers or uh, something like that and as we're speaking about bowlers that they also getting new level level six will be maximum also increasing damage hit points and training costs the upgrade time is 17 uh, uh, 17 and a half days uh, 320,000 elixir cost so that there will be uh, a large dark elixir, elixir 
pending after the upgrade and uh, as always you will need uh, dark runes for example to uh, fill your dark storage at once i mean the combination with book of training for example and the uh, rune of uh, dark elixir uh, will be very very good and i think that one of the first upgrades for most people will be combination of uh, yetis and bowlers this is a good army composition and uh, this army composition i will use in my uh, test attack for testing new troop levels and i also will get uh, some maxed out hog riders in the clan castle also to check them out and now i will show you how new troops will look like uh, to check if they will be different okay guys so to check the appearance of uh, all new troop levels will be uh, will train uh, one of each new uh, level troop it's um i forgot minor okay this way one minor one bowler one golem one hog rider and one yeti train them at once and uh, check out how they will look like so uh the minor have uh, uh like uh, pink or something like that uh i forgot how it's called in in his hands shovel maybe um, something like that uh, also bowler has uh, green uh, green pieces in his um, rock that he throws uh, golem looks all green all green because uh, the main theme of um, town hall 14 is green and also uh, minor we don't see him exactly i will move the uh, the camp to the town hall so they will stand uh, all at the same place and also check out the hog rider he has this uh, green uh, green light on his hammer also to uh, to make him similar to town hall 14 theme with gold and uh, green so this is the new look of uh, all troops that uh, are getting new levels and now let's make a test attack i will show you the replay of test attack and actually this is one of the strangest test attacks that i ever done because everything went wrong everything that is possible went wrong and i still could triple maybe it's the proof that uh, ground army will be uh, will be super cool again will be very strong or maybe it's just luck but you will you will make your own thoughts about it let's check the replay Okay, so I'm starting with uh, Grand Warden Walk uh, to clear one side of uh, the base and uh, the other side will be cleaned uh, with the Siege Barracks, but actually I lost uh, backup pretty fast. Um, as I said, to check out all uh, new troops, pre almost all, I didn't use uh, new Golem and I didn't use Miner, but I'm not very good at uh, hybrid, that's why I'm not using uh, these uh, two troops but hogs will be uh, in the cc so after the cleanup i'm using some yetis i also i'm also adding bowlers uh, and uh, everybody uh, walks at different directions you see some yetis went away some bowlers went away um, then healers switched to uh, queen and grand warden and they don't heal uh, the yetis so i'm losing <laughs> almost all bowlers in the middle i am losing all yetis uh, here are the new hog riders but they are getting killed by uh, the bomb tower and uh, so several bowlers on this side i have a king and the witches on the other side i have lost already all bowlers and yetis and uh, from my legendary league habit i was thinking about oh no it's it's one star attack one star attack no no i forgot that this is a uh, a training a friendly challenge uh, and then i saw that i'm actually destroying all defenses uh, here we have uh, one scatter shot and single inferno tower but it's getting killed uh, with my uh, queen and royal champion uh, because i had two freezes and uh, the rest of the defenses are on the bottom there is no splash uh, splash damage buildings that means that uh, my witches can kill everything and the last building that stands of, on the map is town hall so it's 99 percent and one star but i have my uh, queen ability uh, 
uh, that's why I can just use it to destroy the town hall. So that's it. By the way, uh, this base had already all maxed out uh, axe bows and all maxed out uh, mortars. And uh, I still tripled it. I didn't triple it with a big advantage, like a lot of troops left, some spells left, uh, so on. But still, this is a base with all maxed out defenses, with all maxed out X-Bows. Because actually, after the scatter shot and the Inferno Tower, X-Bows are the most strongest uh, defenses on the base of Town Hall 14. Uh, sometimes they are even more uh, effective uh, than for example, scatter shots because of a big um, attack uh, distance of uh, ground expos. But still, I managed to triple this base with uh, uh, Yeti Bowler mix with healers, uh, but I lost all army in the beginning and still managed to triple. So that's it for today guys, but this is not uh, all information that I'm going to share with you. That's why uh, Please uh, subscribe uh, to check the, the next videos that are going to come. And we are waiting for, uh, for the update that will be launched, I think, soon. Because we are seeing sneak peeks right now. So there will be a lot of new tactics, new army compositions uh, and uh, so on. So stay tuned, guys. See you next time. It was Salamon. Bye.